Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, made it. Oh, jump. Jump again. Whoosh. This is a... This one's harder. Oof. Good readings and salutations, universe. This is Krita, and uh, nothing has really happened. <laughs> uh, this is Omni Factory, everyone, and we have a small little jumping puzzle. This is what I spent my time with. Okay, uh, I, I, I should have been... Oop, didn't make that one. Had to resort to using the angel ring. Uh, I should have done actual infrastructure, but instead I got completely distracted by this jumping puzzle and a little bit of math. Uh, I, I ran a simulation. Man, I am just not on par. That almost, we almost missed that jump. Oh, that, this is so much fun. <laughs> uh, okay, um, I did a, a quick little test where we took some of this glass away. If I take this glass away, this takes a lot more oxygen. All right, um, so if we're not using these floors, I think I can just leave that as is, and then maybe we'll come up with some system to, uh, well, if we want to use it, we'll just open it up permanently and we can use more oxygen. Oxygen is not in uh, a low supply in any means, and uh, yeah, so that's totally okay. Um, if we go back to Rustville, uh, we can take a look at our fluid terminal here, and oxygen is well... I mean, it's stuck at 130. Uh, the reason it wouldn't be uh, just sitting pretty is that we're actually dumping it because we have so much of it. Um, it comes from various sources, and occasionally we need to dump it if this turns red. So right now it's dumping, I think. Yep, yeah, active with signal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, otherwise certain systems such as this one up here uh, clogs up and it bungs up and whenever we're making tungsten uh, it just breaks our system. It's not good, it's not pretty, and uh, I want it to be pretty. In the end, I did end up tinkering with not only our gravity, uh, this is definitely the most fun. Uh, 11 is fun because I can jump 4 blocks and it feels like I'm light as a feather. Now the only thing is that uh, it does not go very well with an elytra. If you have an elytra on, you just go up, non-stop. So that had to come off. Uh, didn't really work very well with our angel ring anyway. Maybe we'll play more with it in the future. Um, and then the altitude controller basically will make us go farther away from the surface. So right now we will get a better view of the whole world if we go higher up. Um, I don't know which one I want to do. I don't know if I want to be way up here or lower down to the earth. I thought it would go even farther. Oh, it is going farther, which is slightly terrifying if you think about it, because as I'm jumping, uh, the space station is moving up. Um, so theoretically, if I make this jump, this, this pad should just launch <laughs> above us. Um, but thankfully the Y number over here isn't changing, it's just the visuals of the world. And is this a cube? I think it is a cube. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, I want it to look more round. So uh, I'm definitely going to have it lower down. I understand that a cube is very Minecrafty. Um, now, if anyone has motion sickness, don't... Maybe don't look at the screen very much for the next little bit. Uh, we're going to play around with the uh, orientation. So this basically controls our rotation in space. Uh, right now I believe that we are not only on a geosynchronous or, or a... Would it? No, it would be a, uh, a orbit at the same speed as the sun. Um, what this is going to do is if I take this and I put it... Oof, all the way to 60, uh, the sun's gonna move. And so is the planet. Whoa. Oh, I, 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 I do not like this. Um, now the other interesting thing is, let me turn off night vision. It got dark. 
it got dark because the sun is below us and the, oh okay i don't like this i don't like this at all uh you guys can have all, all the fun you want with this uh, i'm not gonna have it i'm gonna wait until that is as close to center as i can and turn this thing back off hello son oh so the last time I tested this, and I really didn't want to test it for you guys because it was a pain to get the sun back in center, um, it took me a while to get it back to that perfect point. That is marvelous. I'm, I'm dead center in my base, and it is straight above us. Now, uh, yeah, look at that. It's right on my cursor. It's almost perfectly on my cursor. Uh, normally, I would have had to tinker with this quite a lot, like negative one, two, etc. Um, but ooh, got that right on the nose. All right, is this still going up? Uh, all right, angular velocity. It's still going higher. We still have another five k to go. I cannot imagine that. Oh, look at the world. That is so pretty. I hate that it's square though. We're definitely gonna go back lower. I enjoyed uh, imagining that it was circular. I have a feeling that uh, we're not going to get a whole lot done quest-wise. <laughs> so we're going to grab an experience obelisk and uh, hopefully <laughs> quest complete. All right. Um, that rotation thing just had me want something ridiculous. And uh, I want to see if we can do it. Um, so I want to walk on the walls. All right. I want to be able to walk right over here. But uh, that rotation thing rotates the sort of the space that we're in. Um, it doesn't rotate the gravity well. So what that means is that we need to build f six of these structures <laughs> uh, centered uh, slightly below us so that it kind of juts outwards. So my thinking is that we have this structure and then it pops out this way, it pops out that way, uh, and it just look, it faces every single direction and we have a cupola uh, that we can go into wherever we want. And the doors is going to be a tricky thing. All right. So, uh, where did my machines go? I don't see them. Also, gravity's acting kind of weird wait what's up with the roof I don't get it maybe if we whoa whoa okay what the that I was just standing up there what what whoa 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 whoa, whoa. oh 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 Oh, oh, this isn't... I don't like this. I don't like this at all. But thankfully... <laughs> this is down! <laughs> uh, okay, so we were just standing up there, looking this way, but the reality is, that is up. And I had some invisible blocks to help us out with that quick little visual illusion. Um, I got ahead of myself. And I built all of these. It it took a while. Um, thankfully, we do have the amazing building uh, system, which is effortless building. Um, I couldn't quite do the radial stuff, uh, so I just stuck to these simple things. Um, and thankfully, things like spheres made this very easy, and we could do all sorts of fancy building like that right so that's a ring that's not filled it's hollow um effortless building is amazing i love it okay this is so cool i like it i really do um i i don't know what to do here though uh because i don't necessarily want to fill these things with machines because then i might not get to have some of these really cool views where like that is a, that's supposed to be a doorway i can't put a doorway sideways this glass is uh wrong i'll fix that at another juncture um but our main room still is here we even have a little bit of a bucket 
because unfortunately if we teleport here and the chunk is not loaded, it doesn't know that uh, we have oxygen here. So if I don't have my suit on, uh, the world gets pretty wobbly. And I don't like that. Okay. Um, but man, do I like this base. And we still have the ability to do these jumping pads. Jumping pads. <laughs> Whee! Um, I don't think many of these I have to sprint for, but it's mighty cool anyway. Whoa, look at that. It looks like clouds are moving below us. It might be the ocean. I don't know. But here comes the land. Oh, oh it's so awesome. All right, it looks like we might actually be able to get something done. So we need some quantum rings. Need some more things for that. Uh, stars, got it. Okay, and the quantum link chamber. I already have uh, one crafted up here along with eight of these quantum rings, but uh, I think we need like a matter compressor or something of that nature. And I'm not entirely too sure how this thing functions, but hopefully we can figure it out together. Um, we need to use the matter condenser to make a uh, quantum entangled singularity. Um, and this, we basically need to make this guy and this, it says we need to, I don't know, put trash into the matter condenser. Uh, when I first saw this, I thought that we had to make full ME storage uh, doohickeys so I made some drives <laughs> and I filled them up so this one is completely full of cobblestone it has 520,000 cobblestone and then the fluid one I did a test with water so this guy is chock full of water um, it turns out that we don't have to do either of those things so that's pretty cool uh, but I think I might even be, I might be able to use this system to make this work. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we can put it in the. Okay. Yeah. That that that's good. That's good. Okay. Um. Uh. All right. We need to get a whatever that wanted. It was a 64 drive, I think. So 64k. Can we just make one? I would really appreciate it if the system would not get grumpy at me about wanting to make one of these, but and it looks okay. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, first, to get rid of the cobble, and second, to pull out the 64K storage component. And now if we put it right here, can we then toss items in? Ah, okay, so then it stores up the energy and it gets used as bytes or something. Each item counts as one energy. Fantastic. So I can take this and take that guy and we'll just put it right in the middle. That should work, right? Yoink and yoink. And now it still is stored up and it looks like that is functioning very well. Um, can we also put liquid back there? Oh, and oh, guys. All right. <laughs> the Discord is wonderful with helping us figure out sound muffler it also muffles the aqueous accumulator praise be to them oh i don't know it's it's the best thing ever now that we can actually have this let's test because that might take a little bit of time i am curious if this will just sort of shove everything we need into the matter condenser in a rapid fashion i don't know what side is what how fast will you shove in here? It's not looking like it's very quick, so maybe we can disconnect that. Um, this was me trying to figure out how to make the... <laughs> how to fill up a drive really quickly. And, um, pro tip, you don't need to, apparently. We just need to hook up this laser with that, and does it fill up? Hmm, maybe it needs to be a fluid one. Shall we call for a fluid? We already have one. Let's test that. Yoink and yoink. Oh, can't put that in there. So it does need to be a fluid of some nature and then we need to pump it in faster? I don't know. Now, the good question 
is whether or not this is actually filling it. The water is filling it. Okay. Now I was told this should be pretty much instantaneous and it's not looking like it. So what is the answer? Because I can just, I can shovel cobblestone in here all day if I need to, but I would much prefer to shovel the water in. Maybe I can take water from the system and use an export valve or maybe just an ME fluid drive. Give that a try. All right, uh, so the Discord is amazing, suffice to say. We're gonna break this just so I can prove a point here. Um, we're gonna place this back and when we have this model in here, the aqueous accumulator seems to only push fluids relatively slowly. Uh, it's it's actually quite terrible. Um, and this laser, you know, it looks like it's set up. I've whacked it with that. Fluid flow is both directions. No, no, no. That is not what we want. We want only out of adjacent blocks. And now this is full. So if we try and make something like matter balls, what, you want more? Matter balls. Boom! You want singularities? <laughs> Just, you know, there's a stack of singularities. From water. From water. That, that blows my mind. Um, yeah, so if something doesn't seem to be functioning the way you thought, I had this whole crazy setup trying to fill my system, or fill one thing up there with water. None of these things moved water very quickly. The cobblestone was moving faster than the water. This, I, I could have just had that going. Uh, if you guys ever need water anywhere, this is how you do it. And probably any fluid for that matter. Okay, now that we have effectively infinite singularities and matter balls, what can we do with matter balls? I don't know. I'll figure that out at a later junction. Uh, for now, we are going to try and do something with these. So singularity and ender dust uh, and cause an explosion within range of the items. That does not sound fun. Uh, what do we have in the form of TNT? Is there, is there like a tiny TNT? Oh, there is a tiny TNT. How nice. Uh, we'll grab a few of these little fellas and we're going to try and get some ender dust. Um, really? What? It did say ender dust, right? Ender dust. There's a lot of things that my brain says would classify as ender dust. Enderium, ender eye, ender pearl. Um, and then like end stone dust. We're gonna try a few things and figure it out. So test number one, I'm just going to guess ender pearl dust. That that seems right. Oh, we we have a we have a magnet on. That isn't going to be very helpful. All right, singularity, ender pearl dust, tiny TNT, blow up. Maybe I shouldn't have done this on the roof. That was adorable. And it looks like that was the correct end dust. Maybe it's just any dust that... I'm gonna have to fix that later. These are sneaky blocks, because I wanted a lit, lit up roof. Lighting is no longer an issue in space, because uh, we have this suit on, and we can just go, do you? Night vision disabled, night vision on. Okay, we have two entangled singularities. So, from my understanding, um, where can we put this? I kind of want to put it here. We're going to put it here. Um, from my understanding, this needs to be built in a funny square. It's a pretty normal... Ooh, yeah, that connected. And then we put the quantum singularity in here. Oh, and they should be linked. So, we'll give them a unique name. Uh... Praise Discord gods. <laughs> oh, they help me so much, guys. They they are the best. And a lot of the time you can just search for a question. Cough, cough, I definitely searched for the Ender Pearl question. Didn't need to ask that myself. It was a good moment. Um, so, 
Praise the Discord Gods is now in here, along with the motorcycle outside. Tisk tisk. Uh, we're going to wire this up. And now, there is some very pretty particles right here. So, if we go to space and build the same thing, and if we put this linked fellow into here, then it should... Hey, it turned a color. And if I click on here, we have access to everything. Perfect. Wonderful. That is just absolutely marvelous. Oh, okay. And that's not too expensive. It just sort of relied on radon, I think, and nether stars. Obviously, this is a very temporary setup. Um, oh, yeah, and you're, you need to drain a little bit less, buddy. Um, now, the, another question I have is, does this provide its own energy? Uh, because if it does, that's really interesting. And I just probably wasted a whole bunch of power. It, it seems like it works. If I take that away, this doesn't have a power source. So this is per, this doesn't even require power. Nice. Yeah, anything that we want, we can now hook up to this. Uh, if we have power here, we can give it power. And this can even set... Okay, no, it, it needs its own power. Um, I'm, I'm, pardon me, I, pardon my confusion. Uh, the, the cables must hold some amount of energy in them, so it does require a little bit of power. Probably a lot of power, actually. We could look at, we could take a look at it uh, momentarily. We are receiving no power. And now we have power. That lights up. And let's take a quick peek and see how much power this fellow does pull. Um, we have quantum links, passive drain 88. So I'm assuming that that is 44 RF. That's hardly anything. This is wonderful. I, I, this is so good that if I don't have a cable nearby, I would be I would consider just plonking one of these down and calling it good. Though I guess it does. we can't set up multiple singularities that are linked together. So I can't b build another one and have it linked to that one and the overworld. They probably have to be linked only to the pair. Okay, but this is how we can get uh, a new set of infrastructure built here in space once we have something worth putting here, like this machine. I don't know where this will end up, but this temporary setup is very excellent. Um, and we can probably, first of all, activate this again in case I drop something in space. Act attraction enabled. Oh, just, just a little bit of, of confusion there, buddy. And um, we need to get some actual power up here at some point. I don't necessarily know if we want to do numismatic up here. But uh, I also think that we should only do IV machines and up, which means maybe in the next episode we'll be able to build whatever we need for the IV age, or we'll just keep going in the quest book. That's a possibility too. I don't know what to do. Um, we could do fusion power soon, or we could try and aim for IV stuff right there. I think it requires this to make the circuits, and then we'll be able to build some IV machines right there. Hmm? I think that could be pretty good. In any case, as you can probably guess by the beautiful backdrop behind us, uh, and yes, this totally works in space. How cool is that? Uh, unfortunately, this episode is at an end, so I hope that you have enjoyed this episode of Omni Factory. Once again, I am Krita. Hopefully you know that because you clicked on this video, and I hope that you've had a wonderful time. Um, I really enjoy learning all of this, and I, I hope that you guys are learning learning something along with me as we bumble through this together. Uh, feel free to give any ideas or suggestions in the comments below, and thank you so much for joining me. Take it easy. Bye bye.